another red hot day here on the farm guys look at the sky it's banging uh, the old Moringa's had a bit of a haircut anyway it's the weekend uh, the missus has been into town already she's been to the market with her mum to get supplies she's just gone back out she's a bit under the weather so she's nipping to the doctors and then after that she's uh, cutting the gatin with uh, mum and Kai Muk uh, and then we'll feed the goats when we get back so I've had um, a quick hour in the garden well this area here so what I've been doing I've been dismantling the compost heap with our hot water system for our shower I can't remember I'll, uh, I'll have to have a look how long it's been since we installed that but yeah it's it's cooled now uh, the compost itself <laughs> look you can't see the hyacinth anymore brilliant stuff you still see the bioshar yeah so the hyacinth and the uh, the cassava skin it's all broken down it does look like soil now apart from the the big bits of biochar I didn't crush those uh, so that's good there there wasn't any manure added to this initially but it has had some uh, over time since the initial uh, creation of it and uh, as I've been dismantling it I've been using the cardboard method so I've been stockpiling my cardboard for the past few months I haven't got enough to go all the way down here uh, but I've done it up to the the side of the path and underneath is probably one of the worst areas on the farm as far as moon rock goes so i've managed to dig big enough holes for the papayas to take root obviously they've got a big deep strong root to go in there and tap root to 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 break up the rock and find a way through hopefully so they they seem to be thriving uh, and then the idea is to move all the paxien the spider flower here so as I've been taking this area out here, I've been keeping the seed pods and uh, there's just millions of, well not millions, but there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of seed in there and I've just been throwing them in there and then just uh, throwing the remnants over the other side. I haven't got enough cardboard to go all the way up to this stuff, which soon calls shut on. I don't know the other name for it uh quite a perfume smell makes your pea smell similar to uh, asparagus but probably a bit more florally behind the chat om i've been putting loads and loads of goat manure off the island been bringing that out uh so yeah as far as the shower goes oh, I, as, as our first attempt i thought it was a great success lovely hot showers a little bit too hot to start with um as i started dismantling this i did sever near the end of the pipe um, not to worry because the rest of the pipe's okay but what we're going to do we're going to get hold of a, a, a full a full length pipe and uh, we're going to splash the cash get a new one and uh, and then we can have hour long romantic showers together off the top of my head i think we had three months of hot water uh, but but don't forget, I mean, I, I, I know guys, and it's a valid point, a lot of you are saying, why don't you just use a solar gain and put a hose upon your roof? The main purpose of this is to generate soil or compost to improve the soil all around here. The bonus is nice hot shower when your body's aching. And uh, don't forget, even in Thailand, some of the evenings are quite cold. and uh, Some of the days are very, very cloudy. So, um, yeah, two birds with one stone. And we already had the pipe work, so we haven't had to actually buy anything for it as yet. But yeah, we'll get we'll get a new um, roller pipe, and we'll install that and do another pile. Whether we're going to be able to get a hold of any more um, cassava skins at the moment, I don't know. Finger root is doing great underneath the papayas. The plan is to take all the spider flower out. Uh, but I got halfway through here and then a big plume of uh, Dan, the uh, the nasty wasps came out and the plume and nearly had me. So uh, I've, I've just backed off for a while and I'm going to leave it like that because I'm going to give a haircut to all our garlic chives here. This vacant part of the bed is earmarked for expanding our garlic chives. You can see some of them started to go to flower. The flowers taste all right, actually, uh, but what you don't want to be eating is this bit it's like eating toothpicks 
it's uh yeah it's not great <laughs> so what we're going to do as usual we're going to cut them off at soil level um split the rhizomes transplant them over there got enough to fill that that vacant bit easily uh, and then toon's going to make um fermented um garlic chives with the rest well with with all the foliage so uh she's so going to mix it with the the rock salt and i believe it's water off the the rice it's the same for doing the paxien as well Paxien, i think you call it paxien dong when you make it into fermented so that's the idea for that the pak bung uh, i just let three of the small goats out this morning and uh they gave this a good haircut for me i do need to get in and take this stuff out though the chilies are going well this one i've nicknamed the uh, the devil's fingernails these are as hot as hell this one it's not particularly big chili it's not picky new i'm not sure what the actual proper name is for it but uh, the foliage is a little bit darker than the other chili plants we got and they say that they're a little bit smaller and boy did i pack a punch Spring onions are going well. They're not bunching great, to be quite honest. So I don't think they're actually bunching onions. Well, a couple are here. I think we've got a bit of a mixture. So, uh, again, my OCD is uh, not living up to its name. My OCD bed. There's a paxi in there. I'll probably transplant that. I'll cut it and then uh, transplant that. I'd love to be able to do a little bit more in the garden, but it's only... It's only really today that I've had a spare half an hour to an hour where I can sort of like not feel guilty by breaking away from the goats and getting in here. Been doing a lot of building stuff and uh, changing stuff and improving stuff where the goats are. The goats are a lot, lot more healthy now. We've got, a, I think we've got three that are a little bit under the weather, but nothing major. And everyone's just, they know what they're doing now and uh, they know where they're supposed to be and the pecking order's resumed and yeah it's 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 a big relief because it was so hard for the first week or so and now uh now now we're getting there can't wait for these papayas to get well up out of the ground give us a bit more shade and then the ocd bed will get sort of like dappled shade throughout most of the day i think it will do even better then but good stuff i just need more cardboard i think i've got enough compost i've certainly got enough goat manure yeah shortage of cardboard i might have to get tuned to go into town and get some from the local shops so like the stock shop they have loads and uh, see if we can buy some off them everyone around here they they recycle their cardboard it's not that they're conscientious it's just that you get a few part for doing it people come around and collect it from you so uh, when we recycle our plastic and stuff and uh, metal uh, they're always asking for our cardboard and no chance not got enough as it is right i need to get hacking my garlic chives getting ready for the missus to work our magic on later not a bad haul at all considering it's from just a small small area so I'd say it's about one and a half foot by seven foot here. So I've got a few weeds to take out, nothing major. So they do a good job of uh, suppressing the weeds once you've got on top of them. So uh, that's no drama. See there's a little hole here. Uh, in there will be a, a little toad. So uh, I won't disturb him too much. Uh, some people like to, to cut these off flush with the ground or actually cut them under the under the surface of the soil I just like to leave a little nub there um, the main reason I just think it makes it a bit easier to to uh, locate the the ones that have the uh, the rhizomes that are ready for splitting so there's three there there's four there that's perfect I'll take two out leave two and then just move two over there once I've taken the weeds out I'll just uh, put a light top dressing of uh, of compost from over here on top there maybe a little bit of goat muck and uh, we'll be good to go easy isn't it gardening easier than bloody goat farming 